In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the faulty injectors found in the 1.6 TDI engines that are found in the Volkswagen Group. If these break, it can cost you anywhere between 400 to 800 pounds to get fixed per injector. So if you own a car or a van that's got an engine from the Volkswagen Group, so that could be a Volkswagen, Audi, a Seat or a Skoda, you want to watch this video. So just remember guys, I'm not an expert and I'm not a trained mechanic. I'm just making these videos to try and help you out and try and save you money. So if you do know more than me, please let me know in the comments below and then I can share that information. So pretty much I think it is through my own research that I have found that it seems to be, it was a common fault with the injectors when they're actually made and put into these engines and it seems to be Siemens injectors. The older injectors do seem to have a problem and you can identify that if you've got an old one or a new one. So the old injectors at the end of the code on the top of the cap, they have a B at the end and the new ones will have an S. So I do know that the new ones still can go, but it's not as likely and I think what happens is the carbon builds up and there's electrical fault and then that'll fail and you'll know if it's failed because your van will pretty much kind of break down on the side of the road and it'll go into limp mode and you'll have a little glow plug light come up on the dash it's the same light as the glow plug that little warning light so the engine will miss far because it won't be getting enough fuel through the injectors into the engine and typically what happens is one of the injectors go they all seem to go now the updated prices were in 2024 now so I do know that if you get an injector blow on a, a van like this it's going to cost you anywhere between 400 to 700 pounds even up to 800 pounds depending where you get a new injector from so the main reason i'm making this video is to help you guys out and save you money so essentially i had no idea when i bought my first van back in 2020 that this was a problem so thanks for the facebook groups i then found out and then i got aa parts and garage cover to save me money luckily i've had three vans and none of them the injectors are gone so again it seems to be a massive problem but i haven't had any issues on this van i bought on 32,000 miles i'm now on 68,000 miles one of the injectors was already gone when i purchased the van and the previous owner had that replaced and he paid it out of his own pocket to have that replaced i've obviously done that many miles and i've had no issues it's been absolutely completely fine but then my brother bought a van at 16,000 miles within a month or two he drove to london one of his injectors blew i had recommended getting the aa parts and garage cover he was a bit skeptical at first but i was like you need to get it because the engines are problematic it's likely to go and his injector blew and then it was 700 quid at the roadside. So the AA came out, they repaired it for him, and then he had to pay 35 pounds excess. And then from that, he obviously got 500 pounds refunded to him. So it only cost him 200 quid to replace an injector. But if one injector blows, it hasn't happened on my engine, but I have heard in the groups, and it seems to be very common that if one of them goes, they all go. So you think his is 700 quid times that by four, it's in a costly bill. If you've got the AA cover, you know, that's gonna save you a lot of money. It's an absolute no brainer. And essentially that's what I do. So next I'm gonna show you how to find the faulty injector in your engine and then I'll tell you how to prevent them going wrong. So just to clarify on that last point, I'm not going to show you where the faulty injectors are because they're not faulty until they've broken. I'm just going to show you how to identify the new injectors and the old injectors so you'll know what you've got in your engine bay. So if you want to identify which injectors you've got on your engine, first you need to find them. So you've got the engine here and at the top of the engine towards the back you've got four injectors. So you've got one here, two, three, four. Uh, I don't think they're numbered, I don't know, I'm not an expert, I'm not a mechanic. But on the top of these injectors, you then have a rubber cap, and on top of that rubber cap, you then have a code. On the end of this code, it either has an S or a B, and there you can identify whether they're the new injector start or the old injector. So on this one here, I've got an S, so I know that injector is fairly new, and that has been replaced, whereas these three have still got the B, so I know they're old. So they could go in the future, or they might be fine. I've done about 35,000 miles since this one's been replaced from the previous owner, and they've been completely fine. So again, I'm not a mechanic, but these are the tips I like to think help prevent the injectors going wrong so the first one would be that any car van you get I'd highly recommend getting serviced every year I know some people don't bother but I'd highly recommend it just do an oil change some of the filter changes do that every year or up to 10,000 miles some people like to do it less like 5,000 miles and then the next thing I like to do is get the injector cleaners so you can buy these from Halfords you just pop them in the fuel tank and I like to run them through my van every couple of months or every like 4,000 miles I've been doing that every van I've owned and I've had no issues so it might be helping I don't know but I like to think it is and for like five quid for a fuel injector cleaner it's not much is it you might as well do it 